25, even 30 years ago, we were up there gold mining, and, uh, you know, the process of gold mining is such that it's, it's very difficult, it's very backbreaking work, it's extremely industrial. And, because uh, you're mining, hello, it's like coal mining, but for gold. So, uh, <clears throat> this guy comes in with a four-inch dredge, lowers the dredge from Edwards Crossing Bridge. It's right below the bridge where everyone is dredged for <coughs> I mean, There's no gold there. There just isn't any. But it's the most obvious place to lower a dredge in. So he puts this giant raft over the side, and he, puts this, and he lowers this dredge onto it with four kids, uh, who he's obviously higher than they turn the dredge, they, they fire up the engine to the thing, and they drop the intake hose, this four-inch intake hose, over the side of the thing. Excuse me, eight-inch, I'm sorry. It was not a four, it was an eight-inch dredge. That was the, the enormity of this. There was an eight-inch dredge. That's right. So they drop it over the side into the water, and this thing is chugging away all day. Boom, 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 boom. And you can see the water boiling through there, but there's no rock, there's no bedrock running through there. There's nobody down there with pro with with, with uh, come alongs and pry bars, pulling boulders out of the way so you can get down to the bedrock and then taking off all of the overburden, getting and then and then chopping into the bedrock with chisels to get down into that buttery gold that's down inside the crevices of the bedrock. None of that's happening. They're just sitting by the side of the stream and they're watching this thing go bum, 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 and turning water through there like mad. At the end of the day, he looks in the, in the tray and there's, not only is there not rock, there's nothing in there. There's no gold, there's no rocks, there's no stones. It's just poured water through the thing all day long. And this guy has spent $12,000 on this thing and he just leaves it. He abandons it and walks off says the hell with it. He never actually read the manual that went, came with this dredge. Look, you're going through magnetic fields and electrical fields, electromagnetic fields. The best way I can describe it to you is, take a wire, and you pass a current through the wire, the wire becomes a magnet. It has a magnetic field. You wind that magnet in a coil, and what will happen is that you have a magnetic field that is actually a coherent field, it's called. And that coherent field is actually sensible. You can sense it. You can feel that magnetic tug, that push, that pull. I was recently in a cardiac unit. I mean, they put me through a, uh, a brain scan to see if I wasn't having a stroke instead of a, instead of a heart attack. Or, or you know, in addition to a heart attack. And so... Um, when I was in the scanner, the CS scanner, CAT scanner, CT scanner, uh, you can feel that magnetic resonance, MRI, that's right. So magnetic resonance induction is exactly what you've got when you have a beacon. It's a magnetic resonance inductor, but it's of a magnitude of, of, of orders weaker than the MRI scanner that they have in a hospital. But you don't need it to be very strong. It doesn't have to be very strong. All it's doing is it's influencing, it's not actually profoundly changing your magnetic and electronic structure. It's just influencing and giving you literally a beacon to follow. But you have to work hard to follow that. You got you can't just sit there and throw the, like I say, you can't just throw that, uh, that dredge pipe out <laughs> over the side and, and, and let the engine chug and expect results. You got to, what you put into it's what you get out of it. So it's really the Gigo principle, garbage in, garbage out. If you don't put enough into it, you get nothing out of it. Practice. It's not just machines. It's not just devices. The devices of, of, in and of themselves will do nothing unless you put something into it, some effort into it. So, I mean, they'll do something, they'll beta block, but if you don't take advantage of the beta block, why even bother? Why have it if you're just gonna be a robot with beta block, what's the point? You do something with it, opportunistically do something with that. Thank uh you. -huh.